gonna show you what to do. I'm trying to eat a beat like the white shrew. Ah, go eight if you're feeling right. Let the beast stop the case. It's a life of pie. Boy, pay attention when you hear me. My lyrics like a pet and zoom. So hoping that you feel me. I shot them all like Pikachu when I come in the building. Happy Monday, Jay. Today is November 4th. Today is the 4th of November. November 4th. Well, the fall sports season came to an official end Friday night. The Patriot football team started out in their sectional game two against Norwell on a high note, and week nine of the NFL season was exciting. But that's all for sports, so let's go to Wesley and Chandler to find out more. What all for sports? The Patriots fell to the Norwell Knights 42 to 12. The game started off strong for the Patriots. Jay County quarterback Nick Clemens State running back Levi Stamp for a 43-yard touchdown pass lead the Patriots to a 6 nothing start. The Patriots couldn't keep the momentum as the Knights took over in the second half to win the game. The Patriots ended their season 7-4, and four, and the Norwell will take on New Haven this Friday for a shot at the sectional championship. In the NFL news, the Indianapolis Colts celebrated another comeback win as quarterback Andrew Luck passed to T.Y. Hilton for three touchdowns to beat the Texans 27-24. to The Texans coach has taken out the stretcher during halftime, leaving the players baffled about what was happening to their head coach. Uh, he collapsed during halftime and was taken to the ambulance to the hospital. Uh, other final scores were the New England beat Pittsburgh. The score was 55 to 31. The Redskins beat the Chargers in overtime, 30 to 24, and Miami beat the Bengals 22 to 20 in overtime. In pro basketball news, Detroit beat Boston 87-77, Miami beat Washington 103-93, and the Lakers beat the Hawks 105-103. Well, that's all we have, so back to the host. Thanks, guys. Thank you. We appreciate that. Girls, don't forget the Sadie Hawkins dance is coming up. That means the girls ask the guys. It's, it's reverse this time. It is very reverse this time. Tickets for singles are $8, and tickets for couples are $15. $7 if you over the couple. It's a whole dollar. The one whole dollar. The dance is Saturday the 16th and will be from 8 to 11. Indiana schools will be making final decisions again on a new grading system. Let's go to Mallory for more on this story. Thanks, guys. A formula approved last week by the Bar Bipartisan Review Panel will go before the State Board of Education this Friday. The committee wants to grade schools on a 100-point scale based on how the students are performing on standardized tests. Some testing will be expanded to first and second graders, hopefully lowering testing in upper grade. State Superintendent Glenda Wrights campaigned against the current A to F system. I don't believe it is right to base schools off of test grades because some kids don't test well. Well, that's all I have, so back to the hosts. Thank you, Mallory. I kind of agree with that. I'm not that good on tests. So you're dumb. Group activities and stuff I'm good on, I'm just not good on tests. Right. Well, we had some new movie releases in the theaters. Let's go to E.T. with Anthony to find out more. Take it away, Anthony. Thanks, guys. Well, let's take a look at some of the top movies. First is Ender's Game which released this weekend and has already made $29 million. Ender's Game starts, stars Harrison Ford, who is called the Ender and must train children for a final battle for the future of Earth. Next is Bad Grandpa, which has made $20.5 million. Third is Last Vegas, which has made $16.5 million. Fourth is Free Birds, which has made $16.2 million. And finally, we have Gravity, which has made $13.1 million. And there we have it, our top movies for the weekend. Our celebrity birthday for today is Matthew McConaughey, who is 44. Now back to the hosts. Thanks, Anthony. Looks like some pretty good movies out there, Jed. Kind of want to see Ender's Game now. Ender's Game looks amazing. This guy here is important. Yeah. Got to watch it. Well, it has been getting colder since the weekend. Let's send it over to Erica to find out more. Hopefully it gets warmer. Thanks, guys. It's not going to be too warm this week with a high around 50 each day. Let's take a closer look with the five-day forecast. Today, there's a high of 55 and a low of 41. Tuesday, there's a high of 61 and a low of 46. Wednesday, it's going to be pretty rainy with a high of 59 and a low of 39. Thursday will be a high of 50, 
45 and a low of 28. And Friday, there will be a high of 48 and a low of 32. So that's all I have, so let's send it back to the host. Oh, it is getting colder out. Thanks for that bad news, Erica. Well, at least the winter's coming, finally. Jay, birthdays for today are... Lindsey Green, Briley Speed, and Luke Wilson. Happy birthday to you all. And lunch for tomorrow will be Dostito scoops with cheese sauce, black bean salsa, green beans, and peaches. With that variety of milk. That variety of milk is where it's at. Gotta have that. Well, that's all we got. Bye, Jay.